Hey guys, it's Ray at our voiceoverguide.com with another quick tutorial uh, for those of you who are in the rap game. Um, I had the pleasure of working with uh, a friend of mine. Uh, his name is Yamil Howell, and uh, he is the owner of 44 Records. And uh, he's on MySpace and on YouTube. If you haven't caught this guy yet, um, this guy's starting to blow up big time. So um, now you know. Uh, I'll put all his information over on the link to the right uh, as you're watching this tutorial. So we're going to do something real quick. Um, he's taking a track here. Uh, hasn't had a lot of time to uh, master it yet. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play around with a little bit for him. And basically, um, using this track, um, and it's called um, Got Next, uh, which is a really, really great track. And what we're going to use is a couple different techniques, widening effects, and a couple things like that just over the verses. Some of the common uh, questions that I get from people who are doing some rap is putting vocals over a track, uh, soundtrack, bed, um, uh, loops, what have you, um, is having them mix properly. Uh, either one sounds louder than the other. A good way to do that is uh, by using a widening effect. And then there's some really good presets uh, that come in Adobe Audition that you can use, and then there's some VST plugins that you can get outside of that to help smooth out vocals, widen, add a little echo reverb, uh, some things like that. So we're going to go ahead, but I'll give you a little taste of what this sounds like. Uh, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. Again, this is called Got Next. You know we get it in this 44 and 4 deck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't the line because you will get chin check. You know we on a grind, stay stacking a big... All right, I'll stop right there. Um, and what you'll see, uh, we're going to take this out and play around with it just a little bit. We're going to split this up. We're going to widen it. We're going to do a lot of things. In the beginning here, where the, where the lyrics start, you'll hear this has already been widened, but when you get into the verse, um, or the verses, um, you'll see that it's just single, and uh, we're going to play around with that just a little bit. So let's go ahead and open this up in multi-track view. Start it out where the vocals start. You know we get it in this 44 and 4 right there don't cross the line that's where he starts right there so we're gonna go ahead and start this right here let's get there just the beginning of that there we go all right start it right there and then what we'll do is we'll just uh, for purposes of this tutorial we're just going to select, say, that much just to play around with. Now, one of the things you can do from here is take this just like this, right-click, make a copy of just that selection here, come down here, boom, paste it. And that'll snap right to it here. So now you got uh, dual vocals uh, on this one piece, and I'll let you hear that real quick. So really what you may or may not be able to hear here just on my KR case um, in the studio here is it just seemed like it got amplified. It loudened it up a little bit because we really haven't widened it. All we did is put a track on top of a track. Uh, so you just basically it's like having two guys sing exactly the same way, just increase the, uh, the amplification of the vocals. So what we're going to do first before we add any effects or play around with any of that stuff, we're going to do a quick widening of this and this is a lot of fun if you haven't done this before uh, you can use this in a lot of different scenarios but hit the uh, uh, the plus key and kind of just open this up and you want to open it up quite a bit yeah that's good right there um, and then what you'll be able to see is just kind of go to the beginning and you're gonna see right here where this starts watch I know it's really really hard to try to follow that, but you're going to want to open it up this wide to do the widening. And I'll show you why. When you go back over here to the beginning where that starts, right there, we're going to start it here. And what we're going to do is take this second track that we created, you're going to right click on it, and you're going to drag it just to the right. Just, I mean, just a quick second. Watch this. And if I do it too much, this is what it'll sound like. As you can tell, that's just a little bit too much. Let's go ahead and hit Control Z. That'll take that out of there. It'll undo it, actually. Goes back to the beginning. That's what we want. 
Now, we're going to go back to the beginning, and I'll show you why that adjustment you make is so important. What you want to do is just take it right to where you're at, right where we're at right here, right-click it, and just move it a little bit like that. And so now you're widening it just a little bit, and it's going to sound a little bit like this. Don't cross the line. Cause nigga, we still thuggin' for the now in your mouth, you really be grow hugging. You know we in the streets, nigga, we still buzzin' like a so what it does is it gives that kind of echo effect without having a lot of reverb. You'll see. When you move it too much, you'll know because you're going to get this echo uh, that you're not going to like. So that's what we're going to do there first. Now let's take this piece where we're at right now and play around with some of the effects. So we're going to open up our effects rack here. I'm going to bring that down just a little bit. And we're going to go into some of our uh, fun presets, um, if you will. Uh, if you go into VST and open up go to classic there's a couple in here i really really like um, if you go to the compressor here's the name right here kind of zoom up on that so this is one that you can buy or you can get actually it's a uh, a plugin that comes uh, with audition uh, if you don't have it you can go i think this is a free um, vst plugin but it's got lots of presets on here and i'll show you just a couple of them here there's one for vocal. Don't cross the line, cause nigga we still thuggin' for the now in your mouth, you really be grow hugging. Uh -huh. You know we in the streets, nigga, we still buzzin'. I got yeah. a full clip, and now me and Mills cousin. Uh -huh. AR 15 let it all. Watch him fold up. Maddy bitch up when my niggas roll up. So you got something like that. That's real nice. And again, um a few presets in here and you can create your own. Um but here's a warm vocal one. It's not bad. Don't cross the line. Cause nigga, we still thuggin' for it. Now in your mouth, you really be grow hugging. Uh -huh. You know we in the streets, nigga, we still buzzin'. I got yeah. So that's a good one. Here's a boomer. So let's take you to one or two more, and uh, we'll call it good. Here you go. One of my favorite plugins, if not my favorite plugin, is the Isotope uh, Ozone. Uh, which has just a ton of, of great uh, presets in here. And you can play around with just about, uh, I mean, you can spend all day playing around here trying to get that final mix, that final sound you're looking for. So uh, once you get Isotope Ozone 4, this is not a free plug-in. Um, they do have a, a, a trial demo version. Uh, this is the full one here. They have got a ton of stuff on here. Um, one's even for rap, uh, reggae, rock, what have you. Uh, we'll play around with a couple of these so you get the idea of what it is. Don't cross the line, cause nigga we still thuggin' for it. Now in your mouth, you really be grow hugging. Uh -huh. You know we in the streets, nigga, we still buzzin'. I got yeah. a full clip, and now me and Mills cousin. AR-15, let it off. Watch me. Don't cross the line, cause nigga we still thuggin' for it. Now in your mouth, you really... On your track, here. We got next. Don't cross the line. So what I'll do is I'll play this one with and without so you can kind of hear just from this area um, what that sounds like. So we're just going to solo this track and play the original and then play it with the widened uh, kind of uh, added value track, if you will. So hold on one sec. Here we go. All right, here is the... Uh, finished uh, or just slightly better than mixed down. Here we go. And uh, that's about it. So uh, send this out to my boy, Yamil, 44 Records. Check out the link on the side. And if there's anything else I can do for anybody out there, let me know. These are just a couple quick tips uh, for using rap vocals and how to mix them, uh, widen them, uh, add some small vocal effects. You don't want to go crazy and add too many effects uh, because it just won't sound natural anymore. So uh, this is Ray at our voiceoverguide.com. If this was helpful, please subscribe. Any voiceover needs, please come see me at www.ourvoiceoverguy.com. You know we get it in, it's 44 and 4 decades. Don't cross the line, cause you will get chin checked. You know